Welcome to the desk, our good friend, Dr. Eugene Cherney from Heartland Plastic Surgery, and we're just talking. Good morning, good, good you, my morning, friend. Good to get to see you guys. We're hey. just talking uh, a little bit before we um, uh, went on the air here just now that 90% uh, of women, this is something that we uh, were yes. chatting about during commercials, 90% of women between the ages of 18 and 24 are unhappy with at least one body part, and 85% uh, of women over 55 are also unhappy about something with their bodies. It's unfortunate, I think, with so or not, not social media, but magazines and television and things like that, and people don't realize how much is airbrushed. Even if you're a gorgeous person, that you're is still going to be yeah. airbrushed, and, and we get caught up in that that's reality of life as opposed to being accepting of curves and things mm -hmm. like that. But that's, you know, that's your own mind's eye. I mean, even uh, Cindy Crawford, who I think is one of the most beautiful women in the world, she's airbrushed, but she just came out in a recent magazine, and she's like, no airbrushing whatsoever. Granted, she's a little... She's older than she used to be when she was, uh, you know, and things aren't as tight, and she's shown that some skin's hanging down and, and things like that. It happens as you get older. I agree with you. It's actually a serious social problem that some of the, some of the things that people aspire to and how they look really are, don't occur normally in nature. And p you have to have cosmetic surgery to look like, you know, look like this ideal that has been created in the media. And so the media has really created a lot of a lot of problems for people psychologically feeling feeling you know less than they should about themselves because it's an impossible thing to attain but you know the, the good thing about the tummy tuck that we're going to talk about today is that that's actually something that i mean it's a real there are real problems in the abdominal wall that are usually called caused just by having babies mm. and it's not your fault and it's not that you didn't do enough sit-ups and it is really a straightforward fix and so and it makes people feel dramatically better, not just about how they look about themselves, but how they feel physically. It's like their back feels better and they function better in, in different ways. And, and that stuff. is the number one body part that ladies are unhappy with, that is their tummy. Everybody hates their belly. I hate my belly. Everybody hates their belly. <laughs> even, if, even if it's flat, they hate their belly. I mean, this <laughs> you is, can do something yeah. about it, though. Yeah, at least this is an area that has an excellent operation that's tried and true over a century. There's a century of tummy tucks. and good operations and good designs that work well. Are tummy tucks and, and lipo the same thing or is, is are they separate issues or is one done as part of the other? Well, you know, there's, there, there are two tools that you can use. The tummy tuck is, is for, the, for example, somebody who's lost, say, 100 pounds or, or a woman who's had, had uh, you know, even just one big baby will do it and stretches out that muscle. Mm -hmm. If you repair that muscle, it pushes everything back in and your back stops hurting and you don't get constipated anymore because you can generate pressure inside. Many of my pra uh, patients that are older, you know, we get a little older, we start to leak urine. That seems to stop when you restore the normal anatomy of the abdominal wall. Okay. Right. So we see this all the time. I think we have some before and after pictures uh, to right. show you back that muscle place. here is great uh, with this situation. Oh, there's yeah. me. <laughs> actually, lipo doesn't work on that because the skin is too loose. But lipo, we would do it, but that actually that is our first choice. But when the skin is loose, it doesn't respond. It just flops around even more. So okay. then you need to do a tuck. Exactly, that's why. Now, are you, you re removing skin? Yes, because that skin, the elasticity is oh, shot. Wow. Holy and there's cow. A, that's so how small you can make it. That's where, the same person? Yes. Where are the stitches for something like this? Bikini line. Bikini like to, line, down. Yes, and you know, we actually, we actually follow the fashions of bikinis. You know, there was a time when they were high cut and we made more of a V. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like real low, you know, mm -hmm. which is more consistent with modern styles. See, that actually is as much fat as you would think. That's the weak muscle allowing that the organs really? to push forward. That is a lot less fat than you think, actually. Huh. Hmm. When you actually pinch that skin, you're not pinching actually that much. Because that muscle wall isn't able to hold things in place like it normally does, everything right. kind of falls forward? Exactly. Wow. The weight of, yeah, that's the way it works. This, this is just the laws of physics. The weight it, of your, it your causes it to. Pushing it out? Right, gravity pulls them down. Wow. This is a person that looks pretty flat wow. when they lay flat on their back. Right. But this is what I've always said about surgery is that good plastic surgery is when you put things back where they were in the first place and right. then everything looks better and works better. Right. You're okay. not trying to change it, you're just trying to put it back into shape. Just putting it back where it was. Well that's why I usually lay on the ground to put on jeans. When I'm looking uh -huh. uh, that's a good tip. Uh, when I'm looking at I think it's from the seventies, my mom taught me that. Yeah. Uh, when, even Googling, you know, top celebrities that have had right. tummy tucks done, almost all of them are moms. So that goes along exactly. with what you're saying, you know, you're talking, you know, right. obviously uh, people that have had a lot of babies like a uh, Kate Gosselin and things like that that need to restore the muscle. Um, yes. But do men come in for things like this? I see men that have lost a lot of weight 
and they don't have the muscle problem so much as they have the loose skin. Mm -hmm. And then when I have that loose skin, it forms an apron, and then it's like always moist under there, and it's not comfortable, and it rubs, and it gets like a yeast infection. So it's it's a wonderful comfort and an improvement, and a big self confidence booster to get that fixed. Mm -hmm. Wow. So when you don't fix the muzzle, it's really a much less invasive operation. What's the recovery period for something like this? Oh, like 10 days, maybe. Really? 10 really? Days maybe, yeah. You're, most of my patients go back to work in like a week, 10 days. I was going to say, what, yeah, going back to work would be the biggest question a lot of people have. Everybody wants to know that. And I would say it depends on your job. You know, if you're going back to something super physical, you know, that would maybe be a little bit longer. But if you're somebody who could work from home, I have patients who work from home, you know, a few days after the surgery. Okay. All right. Interesting. You know. Yeah, and, it's very interesting. And when it comes to getting things done, uh, we're going we're to we're talk cost, definitely. Yes. Um, what, what, what will people have to think about cost on something like this? When you think about cost, it's, it's, uh, it's, you're looking at maybe $4,500 for a mini tummy tuck up to some of our really big ones where you go around to the back, maybe up to 9000 mm -hmm. is how that is. And financing is available these days again. And if people are looking more for the cosmetic side of it, do you do both like a tummy tuck and liposuction to get that really defined tummy? Yes, you definitely can, and that can be very nice. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you call the, the, the custom, <laughs> the custom uh, journey job here? Or That's what what I, I always call it by, I think that the more you tighten the muscle, the deeper the waist and the better you look. So I call mine the abs like steel tummy tuck. Oh, nice. You, you said you like can steel. get it pretty taut, huh? I can bounce a quarter off my tummy tuck. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that one of those where you want there to be some development in the muscles already? Or if people are just coming in with looseness, you can get it that yes. tight. Crazy thing. It's every week I do a tummy tuck. Someone says, I've done everything I can. I've done so many sit-ups I could bust. Right. And then I get in there to get out the loose skin, and there is a six-pack under there. It's just hidden by the loose skin. Really? It's, it's been there all along, and it looks fantastic, but all that loose skin has hidden it. It's and stealth. So we reveal, yes, we reveal, though, the... T the the beauty within. Now, by doing sit-ups, you mean getting in out of bed every day, or? <laughs> That's by sit-up. <laughs> one sit-up. <laughs> and done. And done. Okay, right. good. Yeah, I, I do at least one a day. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Cherry, if people want to get some more information on this, you're saying, you know what, well, maybe I'm going to look into this. Yeah. What's the easiest yeah, way to get over? Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I've been heartlandps.com. Stop by for a visit any old time. And we do have our seminars once a month, and we'll be having one coming up. Okay. Perfect. And just get the information, heartlandps.com yes. for that. Dr.